Taurus, it's now time to secure your inner frequency with self-discipline. And by the way, self-discipline isn't always what you think. For instance, for me, my self-discipline has to relax a bit. I put too much on my on my plate, too much on the table. So I have failed to be a good friend to myself at times because I have been overly uh, ambitious and pushed myself too hard. But it is time to come into a nice frequency in how it is that you discipline yourself when you discipline yourself. That means what you commit to inside yourself. Uh, following through with that commitment, giving yourself the appropriate timing for those commitments. So really time to get really in alignment with the way you uh, commit and the way you, and what you commit to. That's the other side of it. Like don't bite off more than you can chew. Uh, don't commit to something your heart's not, enti- not, not really aligned with. So it's really about getting those inner commitments really straight. Now, at the end of the week, Tauruses are going to be considering new career and legacy opportunities. And by the way, Pluto, Taurus are the master builders because Pluto in Aquarius is Taurus's 10th house. Tauruses are here to build the new era, to build it in schools, to build it in architecture, to build it in AI, to build, 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 build. We are the builders of the new era, Tauruses, and you are the master builders of the Zodiac. So you're probably going to maybe make some changes once you get your self-discipline in alignment, you're going to probably realize that your career, your leadership, your parenting ability, these are all 10th house options are all going to shift a little bit. Now, Uranus Direct is in your sign, Taurus. And so what that means, it is now time to be the shiny new penny. Tauruses are now ready to innovate their behavior, their responses, and their capacity to perform. You're going to see this sensei just get better and better and better every week in my performance as Uranus continues to climb up the Taurus spectrum. This is the year for Tauruses to get out of their comfort zone, to go on stage, to public speak, to get out there, to pitch your blueprints for the new era. Now, the sextile between Mercury and Neptune says that you have to make sure that you're in alignment with your life's purpose And I think this is really important because Jupiter in your sign is giving you a whole bunch of opportunities. And some of those opportunities may not be in alignment with your purpose. Okay. So make sure you're on the path of your purpose and aligning that with your social ambition, that your purpose and your social ambition are one and the same. And purpose, remember, is very personal based on what you believe. It's based on the ninth house. So purpose is based on what you believe. So that you're in alignment with your beliefs and you're in alignment with your spiritual and social goals for humanity. Big, big deal for the Tauruses. It's serious joy, joy, joy.